Hello again team, Chris Rasmussen, Principal of Professionals Real Estate. And welcome along to another monthly update, this time for October 2017. Yes, that year is flying by. Uh, today we are at yet another superstar business here in New Plymouth, and this time it's about image on Elliott Street. Now their mission is to create unforgettable graphic and web design that will make your business stand up, stand out, and turn your ideas into extraordinary success. So that sounds pretty cool. This amazing company does a huge amount for the community and we know this firsthand and a lot of that is because of our Child Cancer Foundation fundraiser we do every year. Now all the funds go to a local, the local branch and we've raised over $100,000 to date. Now I can tell you, hands down, this company, as soon as I turned up and, and suggested what I was doing, and it was a bit of a harebrained scheme, as soon as I suggested what we're doing, they were in straight away, no questions asked, and we thank them from our bottom of our heart for that. So for all of you, if you need to update your website, and they do become undated pretty quickly, or you need some graphic design work done, give Jay, Jenny, or any of the team here at About Image a call. Righto, REINZ have released their sales stats for September 2017 and also this month I want to talk about uh, information that I gathered around digital marketing when I was at a um, conference over in Australia just this week and also in regards to our 3D walkthrough tour which kind of uh, goes on the back of, of that digital stuff. On top of that, the election. Talk a little bit about that as well. We still haven't got a government. Hopefully by the time you see this we have. So REINZ have just released the sales statistics for September 2017 and New Plymouth City had 84 sales. So that's definitely up on the month prior when we only had 64. Median sale price was $410,250 which is slightly down on August where it was $447,500. Median GV was $377,500 which means the percentage above GV this month sat at plus nine percent. Now interesting that was exactly the same as the month before so even the dollar values were a little bit higher last month the actual percentage above G was very very similar. Median days to sell was 47 um, where in August it was 44 so uh, quite similar there. Now Bell Block they had 11 sales for September uh, which is one up on August. Median sale price was 425,000 which is slightly down on 441,000 from the month before. Again, showing not a huge amount of difference from New Plymouth. Median days to sell out there was 17, so uh, certainly quite quick out there. Taranaki overall, there was 166 sales in the region for September. Um, September 2016, the number of sales in the region was 173. So very similar and encouraging to see, considering this is in the middle of an election, that our numbers are still there year on year. Median sale price was $360,000, which is up on the month prior of August, where it was $329,000. Now Auckland, Auckland median sale price in September was $845,000, um, but as you all know, my interest is in the number of sales sold in Auckland. There was 1,591 recorded for September, which is down both on the month before, but really down on September last year, where there were 2,321 properties sold. This leads us into nationally, so obviously all of New Zealand, the number of properties sold during September was 5,428, which is the lowest number of properties sold in any September for the last six years. Um, so let's see what happens after the finalisation of the election when Winston finally decides what he's going to do. Uh, median sale price for September was $525,000 which was very similar to August $530,000. Median days to sell was 34, sales, uh, sorry, 34 days throughout the nation. So those are the stats. The Australian Real Estate Conference that I uh, was at last week uh, was in Gold Coast sunshine capital they tell me um, but can you believe it it was raining so I understand Taranaki was fine I was over in Australia and it was raining so go figure maybe it's me look anyway one of the speakers that was there uh, he's a digital marketing trends presenter his name is uh, Peter Brewer and one of the many things I picked up was that Google was saying that by the end of 2017 74% of mobile traffic 
will be video based. So that's 74%, pretty high. Peter, Peter also commented that stats are telling us that 77% of home buyers expect to see either a video or 3D, 3D virtual walkthrough when they research property online. So that's three out of four people are expecting now to see this. This is how fast it's going. What's encouraging for us at Professionals is that we have done video now for, for over a couple of years, a long time. Um, for each new listing, we do a video. We've really felt the effects from the buyers. They really enjoy it. And it's fair to say that I'm really glad we started two years ago because where we are now versus where we were two years ago is worlds apart. So it's definitely quite important to have someone that knows what they're doing behind the camera and in front of the camera as well. Now to top all this is the 3D imaging that we've now been doing for a little bit of time. We have 124 tours um, lodged against us, which is fantastic. They have been going really great and received super well by the public, not only locally, but also out of town, whether it's nationally or internationally. We have some amazing stories um, around these tours and how they have really helped achieve great sales for our vendors and for our buyers alike. As you know, I do love stats, so I have got some stats on these now. Um, we can get into the analytics behind it to see what's happening. 124 sales, uh, sorry, 124 tours, sorry, as I said. Uh, that's given us 130,000 impressions, and impressively, there is 22,500 visits. So these are people that are going to each of these tours. Now, if you do that as an average, that's 181 visits through each of our properties that have uh, got the virtual online um, tours. Now, physically doing those amount of visits, 181 visits, whether it's at open homes, private visits, what have you, over the time the properties are staying on the market would be near impossible. So this is something that that's really is working and is great out there in the marketplace. As the old saying goes, uh, the more buyers you can get through your home, potentially the more money you will make. So definitely in your best interest, which is why we did it to start with. So don't miss out on any potential with the digital side of things. Talk to my team, we're superstars in that side of it. We're really getting some good traction now and you don't want to miss out. The election. Man, I don't know how long Winston can hold us out for, but I just want it done. I'm kind of over that. Look, we're still waiting as I discussed last month. Um, look, if, if it is Labor, uh, the thing for us is the major policies are all around property. So our landscape may change quite, quite considerably. Uh, and of course, I'll give you my personal comment on that as I do once we know more. So when we find out who the government is, we'll see what that's gonna do for our environment and for you as the consumer and give you some reports on that. So that's it from me this month. Uh, if I don't see you before, you have a great month and we'll talk to you again uh, in November. Cheers.